Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Fahdah Binti Razin My name is Nur Ashraf Binti Muhammad Nazri My name is Nur Shazara Akila Binti Muhammad Noh My name is Nur Fatiha Binti Noh Helmi My name is Azrina Ratiha Binti Rabi We would like to present about our companies And we are from group Planation So this is introduction of our presentation a plantation is a large scale estate meant for farming that specialize in cash crop. The crop they are grown include cotton, coffee, tea, cocoa, sugar cane, soysil, oak seed, whole farm, rubber trees, and fruit. Protectionist policies and natural cooperative advantage have sometimes contributed to the community where plantation were located. Uh, a plantation house is the main house of a plantation. Offered a substation for house which offers us a sim as a symbol for the plantation as a whole. So, first company will be uh, IOI Corporation Berhad. Uh, IOI, IOI Corporation Berhad is a leading global, integrate, and sustainable farm oil player. We are listed on the main market of the Busa Malaysia Berhad and trading as NYX1961. Our farm oil business consists of upstream plantation in both Malaysia and Indonesia and downstream resource-based manufacturing business. Our resource-based manufacturing business consists of three segments, refining, oil and chemical, and specialized oil and fat. We have two farm oil refineries in Malaysia and four oil chemical manufacturing plants uh, in Malaysia and Germany. Uh, so the vision is to be a leading corporation in our core business by providing product and service of superior values and by sustaining consistent long-term growth in uh, volume and profitability. So this is our uh, the company organizational chart. Uh, okay, next. Uh, this is statement profit or loss for the 2030 until 2070. Next. For the IOI Corporation Berhad profitability ratio, uh, year 2060 and 2070, I will compare uh, for those two years. And 2016, uh, 12, and 2017, 11. We know that uh, in 2070, decrease 1%. Uh, for a uh, so summary, during 2014, it has the highest percentage of gross profit margin, while 2070 has the lowest percentage. So for the net profit margin, will be uh, for 2016 will be 5.51 percent, uh, and for 2017 will be 5.4 percent. Uh, we know that. Also, uh, net profit margin also decreased from 2016 to 2017. So the summary is, during 2030, it has the highest percentage of net profit margin, while 2050, it has the lowest percentage. So next is prop operating profit margin. For year 2016, will be 11.5% and for 2070, will be 10.1% and uh, operating profit margin for 2017-70 also decreased. Uh, so the summary is during 2050, it has the highest percentage of operating profit margin while 2050 has the lowest percentage. So next is return to asset ratio. Uh, for 2016, will be 10.7% and for 2017 will be 11.7%. Uh, for ROA, we know that uh, in year 2017 increased than 2016. So the summary is during 2040, it had the higher percentage of ROA, while 2050 has the lowest percentage. Uh, for the next one, it is return of equity, RO, ROE. Uh, we know, uh, for the year 2016, will be 8.86% and uh, 2017 is 10.2%. Uh, ROE for the year 2017 uh, increased than 2016. So summary is during 2015, it has the highest percentage of ROE while 2015 has the lowest percentage. Uh, 
second insolvency ratio for the year 2016 uh, is uh, 0.58 times and 2017 is 0.57 times. Uh, the 2017 is decreased. Uh, and summary is 2040 has the highest debt to capital and 2030 is, is the lowest time. And for the view, uh, next we move to debt to equity ratio. Uh, 2016 is 1.2. 37 times and for 17, uh, 2017 is 1.34 times. Uh, 2070 also decreased. And summary is 2040 has the highest debt to equity and 2030 is the lowest. And for this, uh, for, uh, and the last one for solvency ratio is times interest and 2016 is 8.77 times and for 17 is 9 times. Uh, during 2017 is increased. So the summary is 2017 has the highest EII, EIE, while 2030 is the lowest. Uh, for the last one is liquidity, liquidity ratio. For the year for the year 2016 will be 0.41 times, and 2017 is 1.66 times, and 2017 is increasing. The crash ratio for 27, uh, 2017. And summary is 2030 has the highest cash ratio, while 2050 has the lowest. Has the lowest. And for the B, uh, current ratio is uh, uh, for the year 4, 1.53 times, and uh, for year 5 is 1.7 times. Uh, also, the current ratio for 2070 is increasing. So the summary, summary is 2030 has the highest current asset, while 2016 has the lowest uh, current ratio. Sorry for the mistake. And the last one is acid test ratio. Uh, for year four is 1.08 times minus uh, negative. And the last 2070 is negative 1.1 times. This is graph for uh, IOI corporation Berhad for liquidity analysis, car ratio, asset test ratio, cash ratio, uh, and okay. So you see that car ratio for 2030 has the highest, and for 2050, uh, asset test ratio for 2040 uh, has the highest, and this one for 20, cash ratio for 2050 has the highest. Next, uh, so we see analysis that to equity uh, 20. 40 has the highest and why for this one uh, debt to capital uh, for 2050, 40 also has the highest, has the highest. Uh, next, for profitability analysis will be gross profit marking uh, for 2040 has the highest, operating mark profit marking also 2040. And the last one will be net profit market for 2030 uh, has the highest. So the ROA return on asset for the 2040 also has the highest and 20 return on asset. ROE, I mean ROE also has the highest percentage. That's all for profitability analysis. Okay, next company is Bowster Plantation. Bowster Plantation Bahad is one of the most experienced and established upstream oil palm oil plant plantation company in Malaysia and a subsidiary of Boston Holding Berhad, one of Malaysia's oldest and largest diversified conglomerates. Back, back by BHP present in the plantation business, we have over 100 years of plantation industry experience and over 50 years of oil palm plantation estate management experience. Our vision, Bowster Plantation adopted a strategy to steer the group not only toward op optimizing efficiency, productivity and profitability but also commitment toward environmental protection and conservation of biodiversity. Our mission, to remain committed in our focus on R&D and implement breakthrough at all level and processes to maintain our technological pitch. To achieve greater economy of scale, we're seizing opportunities to expand our land bank in Malaysia and the region. 
This is our profitability ratio. First, uh, gross profit margin. Gross profit margin uh, in 2016, we get 50.7%. Then, decrease in 2017 is 58.6%. The summary gross profit margin is, is highest in 2015 and the lowest is in 2017. Next, net profit margin in 2016 at 0.79%. Then increase at, in 2017 2.09%. <laughs> net profit margin is highest in 2017 and the lowest in 2016. Operating profit margin. In 2016, 9.09% and 2017, 2.41. The summary is a party profit margin is highest in 2014 and the lowest is in 2015. Next, okay, next is written to asset ratio. The summary is written to asset ratio is, the, is highest in 2017 and the lowest is in 2015. The last is return of equity, ROE. Return of equity is highest in 2017 and the loss is in 2015. Next. Okay, this is uh, solvency analysis. A, debt to total asset ratio. D, debt to total asset is highest in 2013 and the lowest is in 2017. Second, debt to equity ratio. The debt to equity ratio is highest in 2013 and the lowest is 2017. The last is times interest earned. Time interest earned, we can see that the highest in 2017 and the lowest in 2015. Next. Last is liquidity ratio a cash ratio um cash ratio is highest in 2013 and the lowest is in 2016 current ratio current ratio current ratio is highest in 2017 and the lowest is 2013 last is acid test ratio Asset ratio is a quick ratio uh, and highest in 2017 and the lowest is in 2018. Next. Okay, this is our graph for 7C ratio. Next is profitability ratio graph. Uh, then this is the second profitability graph. And the last one is liquidity ratio graph. Next. Uh, this is from B. Okay. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Okay, D is for Gentian Plantation Berhad. Gentian Plantation Berhad is engaged in plantation, investment holding, and provision of management service to its subsidiaries. The principal uh, activity of the subsidiaries include plantation, property development, property investment, and Genomic research and development. Gentian Plantation has four segments Plantation, Property, Biotechnology, and others. Plantation is consisting of activity relating to oil palm plantation. Vision to become a leader in the plantation industry. Mission we are com commit to develop our employees and create a highly motivating and rewarding environment for them. This is board director, board of director. We have chairman, chief executive, non independent director, independent non executive director, non independent non executive director. Next, this is a profitability ratio for gross profit margin. We can see gross profit margin is highest in 2014 at uh, 92.5% and lowest is in 2015 at 
78.9% And net profit margin is highest in 20, 2014% uh, 84.46% And the lowest is in 2016 at 7.15% Operating profit margin is highest in 27, 20, 2017 uh, at 90, 90.5% and the lowest is in 2016 at 17.2% Next Return to asset ratio is highest in 2014 and the lowest is in 2016 Return of equity is highest in 2017 and the lowest is in 2016. Next, solvency ratio at debt to total capital. Debt to the total is highest in 2017 and the lowest is in 2014. Debt to equity ratio, debt to equity ratio is highest in 2015. 2017 at 36.25% and the lowest is in 2014 at 22.9% uh, Time interest earned is highest in 2017 at 12.88 time and the lowest is in 2016 at only cost 0.67 time Next Liquidity and last for liquidity ratio At cash ratio is highest in 2015 And the lowest is in 2017 At current ratio is highest in 2015 At 62.37 times And the lowest is in 2017 At 5.68 times and for acid test acid test ratio is highest in 2015 and the lowest is in 2017 next <coughs> this is graph for profitability ratio okay this is a graph for profitability ratio gross profit margin net profit margin operating profit margin next and return to asset and return of equity Next This is graph for solvency ratio This is graph for liquidity ratio That's all for me, thank you So the next company is Kuala Lumpur Kepung Berhad So Kuala Lumpur Kepung Berhad is a Malaysian multinational company the core business of the group is plantation, oil palm and rubber. The company has plantations that cover more than 2,500,000 hectares in Malaysia, Peninsula Sabah and Indonesia, Belito, Sumatra and Kalimantan. The company is listed on the Bursa Malaysia and East Malaysia's third largest palm oil producer. The mission is offering quality products and service at the competitive prices. Being a good and responsible corporate citizen, maintaining steady dividend payments and adequate dividend cover. Next. This is the profitability ratio. So the net profit, so for the gross profit margin is the Gross profit margin is the highest in 2013 and the same lowest percentage in 2017 and 16. So for the net profit margin, net profit margin is the highest in 2016 and the lowest is in 2017. So as you can see, in 2016, they uh, 92% and 2017, 42%. So the next one is operating profit margin. Operating profit margin is the highest in 2016 and the lowest is in 2017. So in 2016 they got 104% and 2017 56%. And the last one is return to asset ratio. Thank you.
Return to asset ratio is the highest in 2013 and the lowest is in 2016. In 2016, they got 4% and 2017, 6.9%. Thanks. So the return of equity, return of equity ROE is the highest in 2015 and the lowest is in 2017. So the next one is solvency ratio. <laughs> so the debt to total capital, debt to total capital is the highest in 2015 and the lowest in 2013. So as you can see, 2015 they got 41% and 2013 32%. So the next one is debt to equity ratio. Debt to equity ratio is the highest in 2015 and the lowest is in 2013. 2013, 48%, 2015, 70%. The last one is time in interest earned. Time interest earned is the highest in 2013 and the lowest is in 2017. Next. So the next one is liquidity ratio. Liquidity ratio. So the cash ratio is the highest in 2015 and the lowest is in 2016. Current ratio is the highest in 2017 and the lowest is in 2015. And the last one is acid test ratio is the highest in 2013 and the lowest is in 2015. Next. So this is our graph. So this is Cross profit margin, net profit margin, operating profit margin, for profitability ratio. Next. So the Don't next profitability ratio is return to asset ratio and return to equity. Return of equity. Next. So the solvency ratio is debt to total capital, debt to equity times interest earned. So the next one is next. So the last one is liquidity ratio, and as you can see, this is the graph. <laughs> this is crash ratio, cure ratio, and acid test ratio. So that's all from me. Thank you. The, the last company is Batu Kawan Berhad. Batu Kawan Berhad is an investment holding company with subsidiaries and associate involved in chemical manufacturing transportation, property investment, investment holding, and plantation. Uh, the company was incorporated in Malaysia under the Company Act uh, 1965 on 9 December 1965 and was leased on the Bursa Malaysia main market, performing known as the KLSE main board on 12 October 1971. Uh, Batu Kawan Berhad was incorporated in 1965 and commenced operation as a plantation company when it took over the asset and liabilities of its, of its process, producer, producer company Batukawa Rubber and Coconut Plantation LTD in 1971 under a uh, ship of reconstruction. Next. So this is uh, the board of direction. Uh, yeah. Next. So, uh, for the profitability ratio, uh, number one is gross profit margin. Uh, for the year of 2000, 2016, is 1% and constant uh, to, for 2017, 1%. Uh, so, the summary is no change in gross profit margin for each year. Next is uh, net profit margin. Uh, for the year 2016 is 89.63% and increase uh, for 2017 which is 91.05% and the net profit margin is highest in 2015 and lowest in 2014. Uh, next, operating profit margin. Uh, operating profit margin is highest in 2015 and lowest in 2014. As we can see, uh, for 2016, uh, percent 
um, for Nexin is 97.16% and increase uh, to 98.88% return to asset uh, for the year 2016 is 20.86% and increase to 21.93% and uh, return to asset ratio is highest in 2015 and lowest in 2016 next and the last one is return of equity uh, ROE uh, return of equity is highest in 2015 and lowest in 2016 for the year 2016 uh, the common equity is 32.49% and increased to 34.68% for solvency ratio, uh, debt to total capital is uh, 40.78% and for 2017, increase to 41.06% uh, Next, debt to equity ratio for 2016, the ratio of total equity is 68.84% and increase to 90, eh, sorry 69.67% and for time interest earned PIE uh, the interest at spend on 2016 is at 11.86 times and increased to 12.63 times next so for liquidity ratio uh, first cash cash ratio on 2016 on 2016 uh, the current liability is 28.48 times and decreased to 14.19 times um, for current ratio uh, on 2016 29.09 times and in, uh, decreased to 22.12 times Next, the last one is ASIC test ratio, which is, which is quick ratio for current liability on 2016 is 29.06 times and uh, in decrease uh, to 22.12 times. Next, so here uh, profitability ratio, uh, as we can see, the gross profit margin uh, is constant uh, on for each year and then uh, net profit margin is increased uh, on the 2015 and operating profit margin uh, increased on 2015 too. Next. So uh, this ROA and ROE uh, graph. Uh, we can see that on 2015 is increased and for ROE, the highest uh, bar graph um, is on 2015. Next. Next is solvency ratio graph. Uh, for debt to total capital, the highest uh, year is 2013. For debt to equity ratio is 2015. And to TIE graph, uh, the highest is on 2013. Next, okay. For liquidity ratio, uh, we can see cash ratio is uh, on 2013 is highest, the most highest uh, on the on of the year, uh, and then current ratio is same, and asset ratio on 2013 too is the highest. That's all. Thank you. So the conclusion is, as we can observe from the analysis above, we know that the purpose of financial statement analysis is to examine past and current financial data so that a company's performance and financial position can be evaluated at future rates at risk and potential can be estimated. Financial statement analysis can yield 
valuable information about trends and relationships, the quality of a company's earnings, and the strength and weakness of its financial position. So that's all. Thank you. Consistent. Financial steps.